Good morning. Happy Friday. Oh my geez, it's Friday again. I'm so excited. Has September just absolutely flown by? It seems like I have just blinked and it has gone from September 1st to September 29th that fast. Yeah, just that fast. I don't know, it's crazy. I don't remember another month going by so quickly as September did. I don't know. Maybe I was just busier. That's probably not true. Anyway, we're out for our morning walk. I've been walking. Uh, walking. No, I haven't been walking. We're out for our morning walk. I've been working. Yeah. I have several things popping around in my head to discuss with you. Very exciting things. Like, I think it's time for all good men to come to the aid of their country. No, I think it's time to break out. Just listen, just hear me out. I think it's time to break out the furry crocs. I know, I know, it's September 29th. The high is gonna be 80. It, it's not cold at all. It feels great out here, it's 66 degrees. However, my house stays so cold. It takes it all day to warm up from cooling off from the night. You know, because I like more glyc temps at night. And it is so cold in my house that I have my little floor heater going by my desk. Because my feet are cold. I mean, my whole body's cold, too. But I'm thinking, if I go ahead and break out the winter furry Crocs, that my feet may be warmer. Which, in turn, would make my whole body warmer. Okay, here it goes. Summer Crocs, you stay right there. Uh-oh, hold on. This is hard to do one-handed. And, and my sock's coming off. Dang, gum it, hold on. Okay, hold on. Are y'all impressed I'm doing this while not holding on? Okay, winter croc time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, ain't that sexy. But you know what? They're warm. Now, by this afternoon, I'll go back to my grass-covered kitty crocs. But for now, we're going with the uh, lint-covered furry crocs. <laughs> <laughs> and just as proof, it's still 64 degrees in the house, even though it's set on 73. 64 is what I put it on when I sleep. So, yeah, it hasn't warmed up one bit. Ooh, there's a big writing spider. Hold on just a second, I'm gonna show you. It's way up there, hold on. Lots of, uh, I don't know if those are her eggs or food or both, it could be both. But they eat a lot of bugs, so I let them, well, I mean, it's not like I would jump up there and try to get rid of her anyway, but. Hi, come on, I, I don't know what you're smelling, but come on. You'll be coaxing something out of its hiding place that I don't want to deal with. Here's another spider. I'm telling you, going into fall is just crazy. This is probably not going to be your video if you don't like spiders. You know what? This is just a web, so it's okay. It's just a web, but I'm just going to be real careful. Okay, first of all, I have to tell you what happened last night. Hold on and let me show you this web because it is... Oh, no, there's a spider, but it's tiny. Hold on. I hope you're able to see it. There it is, there you go. I think you can see it now. I just have to keep my eyes open because, <laughs> oh, I just tripped over a stick. Okay, do I keep my eyes up to look for spider webs or do I look down to keep from kicking sticks, kicking rocks and such? Yeah, <sighs> makes me very nervous. I'm just kidding. Okay. So the first thing last night, we had this big, beautiful moon and I wanted to get a picture of it. So I got out the big camera, the big guns, you know? And I went out there on the driveway. This is nine something, I mean, it's dark, dark. It's been a while since I've taken a picture of the moon. So I have my camera, my big camera on, oh, that's a leaf. <laughs> Now I'm paranoid. I have my big camera set on manual so I can set up the shot. If you try to do it on auto, it 
because it's dark it keeps wanting to pop the flash up so anyway you have to you have to speed your um, shutter way up and then I don't know, do all the things you have to do all the things anyway to capture the moon and I'll put in the picture that I took last night because it is pretty cool but while I was out there I hear the absolute loudest screech screech scream I mean it it sounded like a scream but it was a screech from a bird you know what I'm saying and then it went into an owl a barred b-a-r-r-e-d barred owl and it kind of sounded like the mating call mm -hmm. so I I didn't move I didn't lose my shot I continued focusing on the moon and I got the picture and then I got my phone out because I was all excited I was all excited and I was like maybe they'll start doing their main mating calls again because it is cool to hear if you've never heard the mating call <laughs> of a barred owl look it up on YouTube what's going on there hmm. Hmm. whatever it's doing its own thing it's very cool very loud and it sounded like it was right over my head the, the babies were inside they were fine but I'm looking all around I've got my cell phone flashlight that like that does anything but I was trying to see some you know lights looking back at me meaning their eyeballs they never did it again I was like now why when I'm ready and got my camera ready my actual phone ready can't you do this sound again it was amazing is what it was but that's story number one Story number two didn't happen to me, but I saw it on the, uh, I get news, news stories that pop up on my phone from WSB. And this guy, I don't know his backstory. I'm guessing he went to the corner store to pick up something. And he's in Chicago. He said this guy is going around and kind of pushing people around in the parking lot, yelling at people, just basically acting like a jerk. And then he comes up to this guy, starts kind of yelling and pushing around on him. Well, this guy, he's a third degree black belt in jujitsu. So he takes a step back and puts his hands up because he's ready, right? Well, the guy turns around and goes into the store. I guess he saw him and was like, nah, I don't want none of that. We turns around and goes into the store and he punches the person in the store and jujitsu guy sees him punch this guy and he goes in there y'all he wrapped up that dude like a pretzel he had one arm up like this this is the guy's arm on the ground not jujitsu guy this is bad guy he's got one arm like this and then his other arm is somehow wrapped, he's like he's choking himself out with his own arm. But his other arm's tucked in like that. And he sat on him, like one foot off of him, one knee on his back, holding him like that for 18 minutes until the police arrived. 18 minutes. The guy was, I mean, the guy was fine. He was uninjured, the bad guy. He wasn't putting pressure on the wrong part when he was kneeling on him but he he was yelling i need to get up anyway i thought it was so funny how he had him wrapped up like a pretzel i mean i guess you could look up i can't link the video or the news article in a video but i guess if you could just look up you know the story in chicago of the third degree black belt it would probably come up but yeah, he was all twisted up. It was, it was kind of funny. Because if you can do things in a safe way like that, it's awesome. Let's see, was there another thing I was gonna tell y'all? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm gonna go back to work and I'll be back. Okay, now here we are. It's the end of the work day and I'm taking Penn for another walk. Another walk about. Look at my handmade uh, wrist brace. <coughs> I think it's arthritis. It's nothing major. Well, I mean, it feels like it's major because it hurts, you know? But I went to the chiropractor. I, th I think I told y'all this. 
I don't know, a month or so ago, there's a chiropractor that's a couple of doors down from my office. And I, I went down there and just stuck my hand out and was like, fix it. And she yanked on it and it felt some better, but I think it's the mouse or keyboard typing. I don't, it's not carpal tunnel though, because I've already had that surgery and that hurt in the palm of my hand. This is actually on my wrist bone. It's on my wrist bone. It's kind of hot out here. Oh, I wasn't ready for this. I'm wearing pants. <laughs> anyway, so I saw her Tuesday and she asked me how it was doing. And I said, well, you know, it kind of comes and goes. And I said, it seems to be worse on the days that I work, you know, because of the, I guess the mouse and the keyboard and all that stuff. And I said, but I've already had car carpal tunnel surgery on both hands. She said, well, even though you had the carpal tunnel surgery, it can still cause, you know, pain in your wrist area, the bone. She is flying and she is in the middle of the road. I don't know how there's not more wrecks at the top of this hill because so many people drive so fast in the middle of the road. Anyway. <laughs> hey! Okay, a friend of mine, uh, he's a police officer for the school system and he's driving through, he always drives through the neighborhood to check on my house. I have so many people that watch over me. I guess that's why I never worry about things. But anyway, he stopped to talk. But back to my wrist. Anyway, she told me, you know, I told her, I said, I think it's just arthritis. And she said, well, get a wrist brace and wear it at night. She said, try not to wear it during the day because you still need to work it, work it, work it. Anyway, well, what's funny is I was like, well, I don't have one that doesn't have a thumb stabilizer. So I'll have to find one. Well, that evening I go to dad's and he opens this little box and guess what's in there? A wrist brace that doesn't have a thumb stabilizer. And I was like, can I have that? <laughs> you gonna be using that? He said, uh-uh. I think it was my mom's. I said, well, let me use it. Well, I brought it home and it's just not comfortable because it's got the big stabilizer, you know, the big metal piece in it that goes from palm up to the middle of my forearm. But I don't know, my wrist is tiny and then my forearm's kind of thick. There's a baby in the road. There is a baby in the road. I do not see an adult and there is a baby in the road. There, there is a baby walking down the middle of the road. Huh, yeah. Okay, uh, please stand by. All right, well, um, I am walking towards the baby. Now, the baby still has a diaper on, and it's in the middle of the road. There's no other clothes, just a diaper. And I said something to the baby. I, I don't even remember at this point. I think I said something like, hey there. <laughs> I don't know what I said. And... He started like he was running toward, I don't know if it was a boy or a girl, but he started, I'm just calling it a he because I don't know what else. He started running towards me and he had his arms wide open. You know how babies do. And I'm like, okay, I'm still trying to process all this. I've got Penny, who's not going to like anything rubbing, ru rubbing, <laughs> probably not, running up to us. So I'm trying to, in my mind, figure out what I'm going to do. And I'm like, I'm going to pick up Penny and then I can grab him by the hand because I knew which house he belonged to and walk him home. As I'm processing all this, what I'm going to do, I hear this very loud booming voice coming out of this house with this person screaming. And I couldn't really understand what this person was saying. Sounded like a very a uh, baritone woman, if you get my draft. It was a very deep voice, but it kind of sounded like a woman. Anyway, this person is yelling, and then I see these kids up the street, across the street, and they come running towards the street and down the street, 
and the person in the house is yelling at the kids saying he wandered outside, then they're running and they scoop him up and then they take him home. So, I let my friend know who's the cop who rides through my neighborhood to be on the lookout because I will be paying very close attention. The only problem is it's on the street that I can't see, right? So, <laughs> it's, it's going to be, I mean, unless I walk back there or drive, it's not like I can just look out my window and see. But I will be paying more attention because that was crazy. And I asked my dad, I said, do you call the police after one time? And he said, well, I mean, not really since you don't know if it's ever happened and nothing happened to the baby and they got the baby back in. He said, but if you see it again, you know, if it becomes a thing, then Child Protective Services needs to be called. He said, but how does a baby wander out of a house? And I said, well, the front door was wide open and they don't have a screen door. So I can kind of see how it could happen. I'm not saying I condone it or that I think it's okay. I'm just saying I could kind of see how it could happen if the person's in the house alone and has, I don't know, I'm not making excuses for the person because I don't even know the person. I'm just saying the door was wide open and the baby came out of the house and down the stairs and into the road, into the middle of a road that has a lot of traffic that flies around. So scary. But all the kids came running back and picked the baby up and took it back in the house. So yeah, <sighs> that was a lot. And I don't even know, I don't even want to finish my wrist story except to say that I've ordered me one because the one that I have of my mother's is not that comfortable because it won't stay in the palm of my hand. It keeps pushing up. Anyway, I ordered one of those that just wrap around the wrist. And then it has the thing that kind of goes in between these two fingers. And has a Velcro strap, you know, to keep it on. That's all. That's all I wanted to say. It's not really that important now. I put some CBD cream on it. And then I have an ice pack that I have had on it and it feels much better Ooh, feels much better but yeah mind blown this was a whole video about a whole lot of different things but stay tuned because i have a video of gracie chattering with the birds and i have a video of penny chasing a squirrel and then i have a video or clips they're little clips of the birds in the bird bath and then i'll come back and say goodbye so stand by did you see the birds did you see the birds huh? did you see the birds huh well it's right outside do you see it i don't want you on my desk though because i am working yeah, I was just wanting to watch you watch the birds. You see them? You see them? Huh? Well, do you see them? Are you chattering with them? You're a good girl. There's a squirrel. There's a squirrel. Get it, girl! Good job, baby. That's a good job. Did you find it? Good job, baby. All right, well, that's it for this one. I've broached so many, broached, there's that word again. <laughs> I've broached so many topics in this video that I'm just gonna name it Happy Friday. I don't know what else to name it. The moon, the owls, the pretzel man, the wrist, the baby, I, things. But 
apparently it's just another day in my life. So, anyway, don't be surprised if you see those short clips on a reel because I need to post some of those. Anyway, y'all have a great rest of your day. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. I hope he's coming back soon because these people be crazy and they ain't watching their kids. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries, okay? All right. Did you hang up? Okay, bye.